So, Amiga lovers, it's time to learn about the 3 command. And as you may hear, I'm recovering from a cold, so please bear with me on this one. I'm loading a sample called Rubber Bass, and I'm going to put a loop on this sample, like this, at the very end of the sample. Let's go with... Uh, that should be alright. And you can think of the 3 command like viscosity of a fluid. So, 301 is like tar and 3FF is like water. Let me demonstrate by putting some notes in the track number one. So to go from C to G I'll use the 3 command with the tar command like 301 and listen how this sounds. So that was useless. Uh, you have two options to reach the G3 by sliding. First you can just change the liquid to 3FF, the fastest slide like the water command. Listen to this. Now the correct note is played, but I want this to go slowly like tar. What you need is a bigger bowl of tar. What I mean is, you can just fill up these rows with threes. And ProTracker will remember the last three command you defined, 301 in this case, and just keep sliding until it reaches the note. Listen. Perfect. So let's assume you want to do this slide in a lower volume. Then we use the C command, like we used earlier, let's go with C-O-E, and listen how this sounds. This won't work, because ProTracker will try to play this note with the sample volume 40, which is set as default for this sample up here. So what we need to do is remove the sample number and listen again. Much better. It's time for a little trick. Instead of putting 301 on this note, I'm putting 301 in between these notes instead. And since I'm not defining a new note here to slide to, this doesn't really change anything. What it does, however, is that it sets a new value for 3 already on row number 2. So when it's time to play row number 4 and this note, ProTracker already knows what value to use when it's sliding with a 3 command. And this might save you a lot of trouble in the future. I'll talk more about this in the 5 command episode. <laughs> Another thing you should be aware of is that the speed of the song will affect the 3 command as well. So if I go in the speed of F02, the note G3 will not be reached because the pattern is going too fast. Listen to this. But what doesn't matter is the range between the different notes you're trying to slide between. So if I put a lower note here like E3, it will sound like this. Exactly the same. And if I go with a high note, like A3, it will still be the same. That's it, basically. So, thanks for watching. Please comment and remember, the best way to learn is by listening and examining other people's modules. And there is a link to a whole lot of them down in the description below. I'll see you in episode 5.